Hi, this is the um, eventual test that I've done on the um, Vosto um, 22 HDX. Um, so it's taken so long, a bit of computer problems and things like that, but um, I've got this um, all sorted now. Um, so I'll just run through um, the, um, the HDX um, version here. Um, so it's very similar um, to the 22 HD. Um, same IPS panel, similar level of pressure sensitivity, um, it, everything is the same basically, um, except that they've put these um, express keys, uh, a wheel down the side, on each side here. Um, so you've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten buttons and your wheel on each side. Um, it comes with um, a, a driver disc. Uh, which is a standard driver which is similar to the, the driver that was for the um, 22HD and there's a separate driver as well um, to control the, um, the, uh, the express keys that are down the side here um, so they can, be, uh, they can be controlled and set up for individual programs um, <coughs> um, but that, that's basically the, the only difference with this same connections, everything else is the same um, it's just with the addition of express keys which, to be honest, it's what most people ask for. Most people say about these cheaper tablets, you know, do, do, you, do, do you do these tablets with express keys? A lot of them don't. Um, this one um, obviously now does. Um, as you probably know from my review um, that I did on the, um, uh, the 22 HD Plus, um, I really liked it. Um, a lot of people keep reporting back um, through uh, message on, on, you, on the, my YouTube channel um, about the 22 HD is that um, it gets bad press. The first version did, just to, to go back um, um, to probably around about September 2013, Bosto released a, a, a tablet called 22 HD. It had problems, Bosto knew about those problems, they changed it and made a better tablet um, later on in about, about February 2014 um, which was the 22 HD Plus which I tested I found it to be a brilliant tablet um, there are a few quirks in a, in a couple of programs mainly Photoshop um, in, in all the tablets I've used whether it's Wacom these cheaper tablets the really cheap Chinese tablets they all have jittery lines in, in Photoshop I, can't get, I cannot get um, a, a nice um, straight line in Photoshop using any of these tablets, whether it's a £2,000 Wacom tablet or one of these tablets, I can't get a straight line. Um, going on to other programs, this works really well in Manga Studio, um, it works really well in Outrage, it works well in, um, uh, what's the other programs I've got, it works well in ZBrush, um, it works um, well in, uh, so we've got Outrage, ZBrush, Manga Studio, um, two programs that I'm having problems with, one of them I've rectified, um, which is um, Sketchbook Pro. In Sketchbook Pro, you draw on the screen and the cursor is right under the tip, it's perfect, but the line draws to the side. So it draws probably about a half an inch, if that, to, to, to one side, um, has little flicks off the lines. Um, it's a very strange thing that happens. I found out it happens because I'm running a dual monitor system. If I switch, I'm just using this. So just to turn off this monitor, you just have it so this is my main monitor. It's only running through one monitor and this is the one. It will draw fine. Um, the other program I'm having problems with is Mischief, um, which again draws off to the side. Doing the monitor change setup doesn't change that Mischief. I've been told by Mischief it's a problem at their end that, that it's not using um, the, the driver properly. Um, and they're looking into that um, but apart from those two programs everything else seems to work really good I'm going to just go through some of the programs and show you how it works um, we'll have a look at the express keys as well and see how they set up and how they work um, and we'll try and do that on the fly if I can do um, because I've not set these up yet um, and we'll, we'll just see how um, how that works um, set, setting up the uh, these are the express keys <coughs> so we'll, we'll dive in and see what happens here so first of all I'm going to do um, Manga Studio and just get this to load up so 
So I'll make a studio here. Just zoom in out with the mouse here for now. And we'll just see the I've calibrated this already, the cursor is more or less bang on underneath and as usual it just works really really nice. It's very fluid, there's no lag. Um, and I know a lot of people will say that just doing these sketches and drawings doesn't really test it and show you exactly you know the capabilities of these tablets um, that's what I use it for on a day to day basis I'm, I was an editorial artist um, and this is the kind of stuff I would do on a day to day basis just, just editorial cartoons and it's the kind of thing that was my bread and butter and it's the kind of thing that I do um, I do now really you know it's just, just drawing cartoons line art um, and for that purpose, this tablet is really nice. You know, it's uh, as you can see, it just it draws it draws very nicely. Um, I couldn't fault it with the twenty two HD. Um, I can't really fault it now. You know, because it is the same. It's the same panel, the same unit. And this is just drawing really, really rough, just off the top of my head. I can't, I can't really say much more than how well it works. Um, one thing that some people have been putting online is like how well does it do? Um, things like the rule of test. Um, which obviously drawing a, a, um, a, a line on screen using an actual ruler on screen as, you, screen as you would do a piece of paper. Um, we could do a quick test on that. Um, what I'm going to do towards the end of this is do a an actual test um, separately, a bit closer of my shoulder. Um, somebody's asked for it online basically to, for me to do a, a ruler test and it's a ruler test for um, doing a very slow line and just to see how it how well it draws a very slow line, how well it draws a fast line using the ruler test. So I'm just using a, a credit card. Um, so you put that on the screen. Hope you can see there. And then I draw a line, a line, a line. And as you can see, it draws well. Put less pressure on, and that is drawing a pretty good line. Um, just for argument's sake, if I draw a very slow line, which they usually say to take around about four seconds to get from one end of the card to the other end of the card, it is a bit more wobbly, is the line. Just try another one. That was a bit better, is that one? Because I actually moved the card slipped slightly, I wasn't holding it, uh, holding it well enough. And the card slips slightly, and that's so I got a bit of a dip in the line there. Uh, but that line was was much better. But as you get with these slower lines, you do get a more a more wobbly, like hand drawn line. I would personally say that you know you would probably lose, use a line two, use your line two, your straight line two for doing lines, um, or you would be doing quite fast lines anyway. So you would be you would be drawing nice and fast and loose. And when you do a fast and loose line, for all intents and purposes, it draws a very straight line. I can't think of a situation where you would want to um, have to draw a line at such a slow speed. Um, and I do know all these tablets, whether it be, like I say, a Wacom, costing you £2,000, whether it be, um, <coughs> excuse me, some of your other computers that use Wacom um, architecture in them. Uh, like the Lenovo's Ace tablets um, and, and laptops and that kind of thing that have the Wacom um, drivers in there and Wacom architecture in there. Um, all those ones that seem to have been tested and that, ha and that I've had a go with um, always seem to draw wobbly lines.
you know, a slightly wobbly lines. Some are worse than others, some are better than others. Um, I say this one, I say this one for the money, it's pretty good. Um, there's some nice straight lines on there, so I can't really um, say that would hinder my workflow at all. Um, like I said, this is in Manga Studio. Um, obviously, drawing curve lines. If I just did a curve line and go very slowly, yeah, you get that that little glitch in the. Uh, as you go around, you get a little glitch in the uh, cursor, which is that that wobble you get on the lines. Um, when I'm doing my line art, I'm usually doing it quite loose and fast, so you know I don't. I don't tend to worry too much about um, that wobbliness in, in slow lines because I would never, I would never draw that slow in the first place. Um, that's Manga Studio. Um, I'll try something else. Let's have a look at Outrage. This is Outrage Four? So we've got pencil mode on here, and again, cursor is bang underneath, and you can just sketch away. As you can tell, it's just a nice, a nice looking, you know, just pencil on rough paper. The feedback is very good. To be honest, you might as well just look at the review for the um, the twenty two HD because it draws just the same. It's the same um, panel. It's the same um, pen. Everything about this tablet is just the tablet monitor is just the same as the twenty two HD, um, and the only difference is the um, express keys down the side. So it's pretty pretty much exactly um, as I said on there. Um, really probably not worth doing too many more drawing programs on here. Um, the thing probably to check on here now is how the um, how these um, buttons work. Um, so we'll um, I'll have a look at calibrating these. And then come back into the same programs again. A couple of programs just see how they calibrate and how they work. Okay, we're gonna have a look at um back to Manga Studio again. Um I'm just gonna do one test just to show you how the um setup of the um, express keys work. Very, very simple. I would say if anybody's buying one of these tablets, when you're installing the um drivers for the express keys, um don't install them to the directory, it automatically installs them to. Um, if you do that, um, or this is what's happened to me anyway, um, when I install them to the directory, which was something like you know, C programs, tablet, um, it installs the, um, the driver there for these express keys. Um, when you try and change a program or add a program uh, with, with the express keys, you'll get a parameter fail message along the bottom of the, the driver. Um, the way around this is to install the um, install the driver for the, the express keys just in a C. So just choose your C drive, it'll say something like C colon backslash or forward slash. Um, um, it'll say C colon backslash or forward slash and it'll say um, it's just uh, installing the uh, the uh, key set roll drivers into that 
particular um, portion of your hard drive. Um, when you do that, you'll have no problems at all setting up new programs, adding new keys. So it's just um, um, it's obviously something that's, that's wrong with the installer um, that Windows 7, uh, which I'm running, doesn't like. Uh, might be different on some other um, software, but if you're in Windows 7, as far as I'm aware, just Windows 7, uh, install it to just see your C drive. Um, and that'll work fine. So um, you've got this little separate driver icon that you double click on. Um, and it opens this window. There's a few default ones in there to start off with. Um, all you basically do is you've got this window here which shows your program name. Um, you can create a new program. So all you would do is um, click on the setup button. Um, once you click on the setup button, you can just type in here under where it says new program. Type in the name of the program that you want. So I typed in Manga Studio. <coughs> Excuse me. Uh, type to Manga Studio there, and then down here you've got your Express Keys. Uh, you've got keys one to four, um, which is your top set of keys there. You've got, um, but there are five keys ringing down here. You number one at the top, so one, two, three, four. This one is a toggle key. Um, you've got the, the roll button there, the scrolling button there. The next one down is also a toggle key. And then you've got another one, two, three, four there. So your four and then your five, six, seven, eight refer to your top four and your bottom four. The two in, in the uh, middle there are your uh, toggle keys. The toggle keys are there to toggle um, between so you can have um, each button doing two different two in two different commands. And you can toggle between those commands. Um, so for example, um, your scroll key um, there could be your zooming in out of page. Um, and you could then press your toggle button and you can have it so then switch to um, toggling um, brush size or something like that. Um, so that, that's the idea behind that. I've not done a toggle setup on here, just a very basic setup um, where I've looked um, at the list of shortcuts. I've set up a shortcut for uh, so on key one and key two, a shortcut for brush size going up and down on key uh, three. Um, which has like a little dimple on it um, is the space bar which would bring up the hand and which would move the page around um, your, your scroll key um, here your rolling key is then set up to zoom in and out of the page um, <coughs> and they've got the key for um, here which is set up to uh, rotate the page I did run into a problem um, with this there's a workaround and it could be something that I'm, I'm, I might not be using the correct driver, I don't know. Um, but I, have, I had to set up mirrored keys on the bottom and the top. So key 7 and 8 at the bottom here also increase your brush, brush size. Key 6 also is the space bar for moving the page. Key 5 is R for rotate. To get these to work, I couldn't get any of these to work with just one set on the top. I had to mirror them on the bottom as well. Um, it's something I've asked um, the people at Bosto about, and it could be just that they need to, to adjust something on the driver. I might be using the wrong driver um, for this particular tablet. I did get a disc with it, um, but I couldn't find it. We've had a house move, and I couldn't find the disc. Um, so I've downloaded a set of drivers again. Everything seems to be working fine. There is that workaround. You've also got the toggle. To be honest, that set of keys that I've set up in Manga Studio there. It's probably the only set of keys that I would need to set up because um, I'd get everything else what I'd use from like the menu buttons at the top. But in just in drawing in general, brush size, rotate, move page, um, those are really uh, zooming out of the page, that is the only ones I'd need to use. So just to move this back onto my other monitor, so it's out of the way, and you'll be able to see here that I can. Um, Second, I hope I'll go back to pencil. Um, so I'm on the pencil till there, I can draw perfectly fine. Um, so that's bringing up the move page move my page around. That is increasing my brush size. 
really good. That decreases my brush size. Just tap it a few times, it will increase the brush size a little bit. So that's working fine. So you've got brush up, brush down, you've got the move page around, um, you've got rotate. So I can rotate the page and I can zoom in and out using my scroll wheel. So that basically shows how it is on there. So there, and I can zoom in again, I can draw close up, I can zoom out a little bit, scribble a bit more, zoom in really close, a brush size there, take my brush size down, very very thin brush, especially if you zoom back out then, so you've, you've got very good control. Just move the wheel slightly, just zooms in a few segments at a time. <clears throat> and that's basically um, shows you the buttons there. As far as I'm aware, um, you've got obviously um, a set of buttons down the side as well. In the just bring this back over. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, in this box here, um, for the driver for these uh, express keys, um, you've only got this single set of keys here plus the uh, the roll keys. It does the roll key um, up and down two on there, so it must mean the roll key over this side. But um, it doesn't specify the keys for the other side, so I'm not, I'm not totally sure. I'm going to have to look into it and see whether you can um, use this set of keys down the side here for something totally different. And um, like I said before, there's probably not a lot of other um, keyboard shortcuts in most programs that you would need to have loads and loads of different um, um, express keys for. And it'd be remembering them as well, what's where. Um, I think for, for what I've got here, um, I've got a good. Um, selection um, of, of express keys that I've chosen there which would help me get the job done it's nice having them um, it's always nice having express keys down the side here that you can just click on and, and, and do what you need to do um, especially the brush increase in size um, the rotate's nice um, I mean, you could set up another one of these um, to go back to your pen mode because at the moment I've got to go across there and choose pencil. Not great shakes, but it's um, it's, it's great that I can just I've got that manipulation there within you know from the actual um, express keys themselves rather than having to go back down here onto my keyboard and back up again. Um, before I was quite I was quite happy with the twenty two HD. Um, which didn't have the express keys. Having the express keys on there now, you know, is 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 quite good. Um, I've got one slight problem with one of the express keys down here that, that sticks a bit. Uh, I've tried all the other ones, pressed all the other ones, they all swing back out fine. This one at the bottom down here does tend to, uh, which I've got now set up for my brush size. Um, I press it sometimes and it and it sticks in. Sometimes it doesn't. Minute probably with a bit of use that will hopefully stop um, but I must admit I did have a, a Wacom that I used to have at work and uh, the Wacom uh, did exactly the same I had one of the keys that stuck on there as well so it's not um, down to build quality or anything it feels to be built really well um, nothing protruding all very flush very nice um, still wish Boston would change their logo um, I think the logo they have on their website, which is like a little multicolored wheel, would look really nice set into there, um, behind the glass obviously. Um, so it's still nice and smooth, um, but they have, a, they have a better logo. Very um, superficial, um, I know, 
but it's just one of these things as a, de as a designer I think it would make it look like a very classy um, tablet um, and it's just built very nice and um, it's got the same connections and everything as the HD uh, plus um, so this HDX is a good a good upgrade uh, a very nice upgrade um, don't see where they can go any further with this um, obviously these tablets don't have the tilt facility um, on the pens that the, the, the Wacoms do I don't personally like the tilt facility I don't think it um, works that particularly well it's a bit um, tricky to get the hang of um, but it's great that the boss to have thought about this probably listen to people like myself other people saying yeah we'd like um, a tablet with express keys down the side they've done that it works crap it works um, really well um, and like I said the driver setup is, is is quite easy to use just got this little bit of an issue with the um, having to set the mirrored um, keys to get this to work but that could be my fault it could be a wrong driver it could be something that could address very easily um, but at the moment um, very happy with this um, love this tablet it's the best still the best um, Cintiq alternative out there I think um, because it's um, it's full 1080 um, I've got another 1080 tablet coming hopefully to test um, very soon I'll have one of the lower resolutions to test as well for another company called uh, Boss Touch um, another one coming from Huey on which is going to be um, a 1080 one without express keys um, that looks very nicely made um, so I'll be testing that as well uh, but at the moment this uh, Bosto 22 HD I think is the uh, is the best tablet for the job at the moment um, what I'm going to do now is um, do a more of a close up of my shoulder uh, doing this line test so you can see it better um, and it's something I want to post on somebody else's site who asked for it um, but we'll uh, We'll do that next and then uh, that'll be the end of this review. Thanks for, uh, thanks for watching. Uh, okay, so I've been asked to do this um, <clears throat> on my previous post I did about the um, my unboxing of this um, Bosto 22HDX. Um, if I could do the ruler line test. Um, it's a line fidelity test. So what you basically do is you can, we're going to draw um, using um, a a credit card. Um, I'm going to put that on the screen. Um, draw a um, smooth line. Uh, we'll draw, draw, draw a smooth line. I'll try and draw a smooth line. I'm going to draw a line uh, down the screen slowly, um, taking around about um, around about four seconds to get to the end of this card, um, and just seeing the fidelity of the the actual line it produces. Um, so I'll put that on there. Sure, it's working first. Put that on there and just draw slowly down here. So that's the line it produces. And I'll do another line here. It's nice and slow. And this is just to see um, how much kind of like um, that wobble there is in the line or in the, in the cursor as you draw slowly. So it tracks the cursor and it goes down. I think that's pretty good. There is a slight wobble in there as you go down. That's pretty good. Um, on this test they've done a fast line as well. So I'll just do a quick some fast lines. The fast lines are a lot straighter. Uh, a lot nicer. Um, this is in Windows Journal, which is in the accessory section of um, of um, of uh, Windows Seven, uh, under the tablet section, um, and it just gives you um, an idea of how well this performs when you draw straight lines. Um, I don't think that's bad. Um, I've seen how on on the particular site that the, that I've seen this being tested on various different tablets. Um, the Wacom ones do come out very well. I'd say that's probably as good as the Wacom ones done. Um, are, the, are these are these lines? There's a slight wobble there, um, but I um, I do think 
is doing a pretty good job. Go slow again here. So there's a slight wobble in there, but for myself, I don't work like that. I don't draw very slow lines. Um, my lines tend to be, you know, very quick. And with this uh, quick, you know, if you had a proper full length ruler on here, and you want to do some stuff in Manga Studio, you want to do the ruler section, you, and you don't want to particularly use um, the line tool, you want to get more of a hand a hand drawn look on there. Because if you do use your line tool, it does tend to start looking um, very formu formulaic and very formatted. Um, I, I think you know this is performing ex exceptionally well um, for a tablet at this price. Um, so again, I think this just proves that this is a particularly good tablet, and um, I'm really happy with it. Um, I hope this is um, giving you a good idea on how this tablet performs, and then uh, helps you make a good decision on uh, which tablet you're going to buy. Um, as I said before, this is my favourite tablet at the moment. Um, but um, that's the end of this review. Um, Thank you very much for watching.